Show the Rider and Gunner Show. Yeah, oh, it's good over there. That's what we're doing now. Monday morning cracks. <laughs> oh, cheers, <laughs> Gunner. Here's a run along. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing like that. Monday morning growth and uh, ah, Monday morning uh, good night like get you started. Only in a nice Monday morning show. Yeah, good Monday to everybody. Good, uh, happy fall. Happy Monday to y'all. Happy and it's autumn. freaking autumn and it's October. So get your pumpkins out, you know, get your yes. candy bags ready. That's right. You got to start picking out your costumes now. Look for those Halloween parties, you know. Uh, dress up nice. Girls, get your sexy gear on. You know what time it is? Dressing like Time kids. for you to dress as provocative as you want, and nobody can't say a thing about it. As we like to call lofty. <laughs> so, yeah, girls, you know, you could go buy your sexy gear anywhere, you know. If you need any um, direction or a pathway where to get that stuff, you could always email Runner Gunner. Yeah, just remember Van Halen used to have to get their gear from the middle of Arizona. Yeah. The middle of nowhere in Hollywood. And just remember, you get that gear at the mall. You at your know, local mall. At um, CA Street. And there's plenty of online sites where you could get that gear if you want to smell like somebody's booty rash left over in there. You oh, could get the used one. Yeah, you <laughs> but you're after, one. use it at your own risk, though. You know, Ooh. that is that is your own risk right there. You better get some rash cream along with that um, suit or that... Uh, <laughs> That, that uh, you know, costume. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah, what welcome, everybody. It is a Lenny. It's a Monday, the 10th of October. Yes. And today, the question of the day is, what is what's Wait, hold a, on. Before we get into this, what's that street in Hollywood where they got all, like, the imitation Prada bags? It's like the Mexican street. <laughs> What's that called? Uh, that's downtown, I think, though. The, the alley, something. The, the, alley. the alleys, yeah, the alleys. Yeah, that's over on um, Maine and everybody I think out it there. At 6th if you street know what I'm talking like about, the shops in the alley down in downtown Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, I've been there myself Please when I was a kid. Get on our Instagram. Send us a message. Comment yeah. on one of our pictures below. And you could even send pictures of the deals that you have seen there. But just beware. Because everything is off brand. You know they got nice pairs of shoes. It's it's off brand. It's made in like Mexico or some like other place. It's not like legitimate yeah. Nikes. Yeah. Instead of Fila's, you get Phillips. Imitation. Instead of light Nikes, you get Mikey's. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but it's but it's cool. It's legit. If you want to wear them for one day and throw them away, sometimes they're like twenty five bucks for like a hundred dollar Nikes. Hey, you know. Yeah. Santi Alley. That's what it's called. Santi. Alley. So everybody, if you want to go down to Santee Alley and get your Halloween costumes, especially the ladies who want to dress really? up like kitties and they want to get their cat on, want to get your par, par. Well, then they can <laughs> get, get that. Your I don't think they'll need to go to the doctors or get any of that. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah. I mean, most of the stuff is stolen off of trucks. I don't know who did it or where they got it from, but most of it, you know, they got their little... <laughs> Probably. Most We're of not it saying is, it is. It's, it's a possibility. Highly like it. either that or it's made in some shops where they get these little kids from a different foreign country. I'm not going to say which country, but we all know what we're talking about. Whoa, hold on. I think it's called. We're not trying to <laughs> expose anything. It's okay, like, anyways, like, yeah. All we're just saying is if you want to get your kitty costumes there, go ahead and get it. I don't think you'll get a rash. You know, it's not the Goodwill <laughs> costumes. Yeah. If you want to get your sexy costumes at Goodwills, then, you know, you might want to get some cardizone. At your own risk. <laughs> But everybody, we're here on a Monday morning. It's beautiful outside. Go ahead and take a sip. Go ahead and take I a sip. I know it's Monday. I know you're at work, but put a little something in your coffee. The sun is shining in this beautiful state of California Have if you a live out here. Ice cold beverage for lunch. Mm. El muerto con cerveza. Con cerveza. Si. Yee. That's what we Cheers could have. That. You have a beer for lunch, you're at work. You know, just one. One tall can of Miller Lite. One won't hurt. Just. Go out there and do it. You know, their boss won't notice. Nobody knows. You know, take a breath mint Don't get in two. trouble. Yeah, don't get in trouble. I know. I mean, yeah. we're, we're not telling you to do this. I'm just saying, like, you know, this is a It's an option. We're giving you guys options. That's all. It's we're spreading the option. Something that I heard a friend do. It's been done. For many years. 
So actually, I am a friend, and I have done that. So <laughs> I'm not going to say which job or when. Uh, please rehire. No, but it's been done. I'm not going to say, okay, I'm going to say I have, have done it. And I'm going to say I have smoked a little. Uh... Okay, anyways, we're not talking about that today. Today is talking about one subject only. And we're going to get into that right now. Hi, everybody. We're here with you. It's a Monday morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. We haven't even gotten to the show yet. Monday. But we're about to get into the show. We're about to fill for you guys. Watch me as I sip this sip. Go on. Cheers. Go on, runner. Cheers. Get her. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, we're still going. Still going. Still going. And whoa. We're live on the air. Chugalooing some nice yeah. cold beverages. It's Monday morning. We're trying to have the last sip of the week. For you, we know you had a good weekend. Well, first sip of the week. <laughs> oh, yeah, last first sip, sip of first the last, last week, of the week before. So the weekend is still going on as far as we're concerned. So this is actually the last sip of the beginning of the weekend, of the weekday. So everybody, uh, something like that. Monday morning. <laughs> have good a Monday. great Monday freaking morning. Knock yeah. it out of the park. Do everything you can. Be the most productive version of yourself. Live to your fullest Fooling. potential. Yeah, and all right, so let's get into this subject that we were talking about. So the main subject of the day is the thing that we always talk about, the people that we always tend to bring up when, you know, certain situations, they act a certain way. Oh, you mean Lenny's? Exactly. And we even have Uncle Lenny that guest appears sometimes in our show, too. He's not here today, but he does appear sometimes in our show. And so we are here to tell everybody the definition of a Lenny. What is a Lenny? What is it? What is it? What is it? Ah, the description. What is a Lenny, what is a Lenny? It's so deep. It's, it's so, so everything, but it's nothing. It's ah, everything. Far and few in between, but all over. The place. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Yeah, Lenny, they exist Lenny, all over Lenny, us. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. And it's like, you know how some people spot aliens and some people spot the Loch Ness Monster. It has nothing to do with none of that because nothing. these are actually real beings that exist on this yeah. planet. It's not nothing that we're making up. It's not this isn't nothing legendary. that we just have thought of. It's the actual factual Yeah, it's truth. not a story. It's the true fuck. You know how to spell the truth? It is that. And I'm telling you, keep a roof over your head and you obey the laws of nature and you live. And you live. Not only off bread alone, so Bread forgiveness, alone. forgiveness Bread and of water. others, forgiveness and compassion. Let's turn water into wine. Lennies have none of this. The Lennies do not have any no of that. No forgiveness. They hold grudges until it bleeds. Oh, to the death of them. They'll hold on to a grudge until it bleeds. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody. <laughs> bloody like wine, man. I swear, ketchup is not even as bloody as they want it to be because they will hold on to these things until they actually have brain bleeding pulsating yeah. explosions Whew. it's true and they, it's, they it's hold the on to grudges for life like for life but we're saying forgiveness that is not in their category you got are in their um, vocabulary you, you gotta say hey yeah i don't i don't agree what you did and it sucked but get away from me, I forgive you. Yeah, but you're not going to want to keep that person really like yeah, that's under your saying. wing. Get away yeah. from me. You go do, yeah. I forgive you. You go be your own, and then you could do that to other people. You are forgiven, and hopefully, you know, you will uh, improve that. Improve, yeah. yeah. Yeah, go to a different direction, learn a different path. Yeah. But they continue on this path. Uh, another thing about the Lenny is the Lenny stays on the same path, does not know how to change the the evil ways. Yeah, they they stay on the same evil direction. You see, if if you have one evil thing and then you say, oh, dang. You know, you know how sometimes you screw up, everybody screws up. And if you have said to yourself, oh, dang, I shouldn't have done that. I messed up, man. Lenny's will say, I'm going to keep on doing it until it bleeds. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep taking advantage of the nice person trying to, you know, put their hand out and shake my hand and say hello you know, I, I'll help you in any way. He would say, you know what? I'm going to act like I'm cool with this person. I'm going to rob him. Yeah. Man. You so know, that's I, a Lenny mentality right there. I get going against your, your parents. I get going against authority. I get yeah, rebellion as a teenager. It's fine to be rebellious. And I know that this is just, Lenniness is just a form of rebellion. 
But when yeah. you're 40, when you're 50, and you already had your time of rebellion, yeah. and you're getting back into this teenage rebellion, even when yeah. you're 30, your late 30s, mm-hmm. and you're living teenage rebellion, that is a Lenny. And there's young Lennies too, but I guess, you know, youth does grow. But we understand that you're trying to rebel against your parents, but you can't say, I'm not going to believe in common sense anymore yes. because I rebel. So what you're saying is the Lenny does not mature. The Lenny stays at a certain level of immaturity does. and um, does, not pro- does not want to progress w- within himself, like, like his soul. He wants to keep his soul in the same state. That it once was or, or is at a certain point. So uh, what I'm saying is like when they were young, more, and, they stayed like at a this. cartoon character. Yes, stay like that. Like like Homer Simpson or Bart Simpson, matter of fact. So well, yeah, when they were young, they, they stood, were this way. Yeah. And now that they got older, then they stayed that way. And so then, they're still like Bart Simpson. So Bart was 13 when he first came out. He's still 13 even though he's like 50. Yeah. Wow. And at least Simpsons made fun of that. Themselves. And they did make fun of that. We're giving Simpsons props, actually. They did a good thing about that. Yeah, they, everybody. They make fun of the Lennies. Hey, we, if you want to learn the non-Lenny life, you watch the first 10 seasons of Simpsons. Hey, guess what, everybody? We got a nice quick commercial break yeah. coming up. But after this, we're going to be talking about what a Lenny is a whole lot deeper. We're going to get the deeper into the Lenny. We're going to give you the solution for how to not be a Lenny. All this and a lot Much more. more coming up after these commercial breaks. Dracula wants to suck your cups. Ah, 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 ah. Reese's peanut butter cups, that is. I want to suck your cups. What are you going to do? Ah, Just stand ah, there? Ah, ah, ah. Bust out crying. They come in two. I want both cups. I want to suck your guts. What's up, everybody? You're watching Smooth Jazz in the morning on a Monday morning. So, we're taking requests right now. Mm, Crass. The runster, and that's the gunster. Gunning it down. Gunning yeah. it down. Running around town. All out loud. Yeah. So See? how to not be a Lenny, you people? Let's get back into it. Let's get into it. So, all right. So we talked about what a Lenny is. We described to them pretty much. What is a Lenny? I mean, let's it, go back to it. We could go him. deeper. What? Oh, you want to go? Okay, let's, let's, get back. let's get deeper into it. I need a sip right. of beer and think about what this. Cheers what? to that. Me too. Yeah. What is a freaking stupid? And you guys just take a quick second. Moronic. To idiotic, think about. This commercial. I mean, this freaking <laughs> displeasing, uncordial. <laughs> this question. Mm-hmm. What is it? Could there be girl Lennies? Could there be guy Lennies? Is a Lenny a certain age bracket? Is mm-hmm. there an age for a Lenny? Is there trans Lennies? Can you not be a Lenny? Can you recover from being a Lenny? Can you be a non-Lenny and then become a Lenny? Do Lennies drive? Do Lennies think? Do, do they... Lennies draw? Do do Lennies do anything? Do they work? Do what, they... what do Lennies do? Mm-hmm. Do they work? Do they provide a service to man or do they just play video games all day long? And complain about life. Hmm. These are all great questions. Which shall be answered now. Now. It all is could be answered in one question. What is a Lenny? Lenny? Very good. Very well. Well, to put it all simple and clear for you, everybody... Let's give them the quick version, because if we talk about this, I mean, we will keep you guys up all freaking night. We know you guys don't want to hear this. You know, it'll be a 50 hour in a row show. Yeah. So we're going to try and break it down as quickly as we could in our podcast show. He's right. So let's try to break it down for everybody. (sighs) All right. It's pretty hard to put into simple terms, but we could do it. All right. So let's do it. So simplest terms that I could possibly think of is I'm going to give you words. And I want you to think of the exact opposite of those words. Right. And then I want you to remember that the exact opposite of those words are what a Lenny Lenny would think. What a Lenny would think. What a Lenny does. What a Lenny will do. Is. So here are, I'm going to name maybe five or ten words. How about this? How about 
you say one word and I'll say another word. Yeah. And we'll we'll do it like that. We'll go back and forth with right. words and a You're couple right. words and then we'll um So just think of the opposite, opposite of the of word these words. that Gunner and Runner will say and Starting that now. is what it lenny's right yeah. now. So think of the opposite of these words. Mm-hmm. Great. Opposite, remember. Positive. Successful. Helpful. Warm. Loving. Nice. Spectacular. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. Intelligent. Awesome. Forgiving. All right, everybody. So yeah, that's, so there you go. Just a few. I mean, there's there. We have a whole big old dictionary of these words that yeah. they say that are opposite of the words that we're saying because we're saying the the yeah. good side of the non yeah, side. Yeah, So if you just think about the words in your mind, what is opposite of the words that we were saying? Yeah. Lenny, description. Have them bust out there at the thoruses <laughs> and get the the thor- the thoruses out. Bust out the opposite Dinosaurus, of those the words thors? that we just mentioned right the thors, now. The thors? You want to go to the Thoris? The Thoris? Figure out the opposite of those words. Those are what Lenny's are. Is the exact opposite of every single one of those words. The exact opposite. We told you. So that's, first of all, that's the first way to kind of grasp what a Lenny is. Also, Lenny, if you read the banned book, the now banned book of Bad. Nice and Man, you will know that Lenny is a fictional character in a fictional story. Yeah. He loves rabbit. I love rabbit. His name is Lenny, and he hangs around with a guy named George, and they're both criminals escaped from jail. Yeah. And then Lenny is an idiot. Very, very he's dumb. He's a moronic, stupendous idiot. Mm-hmm. And he's got it's the true. strength of seven bulls, and he kills people with it. And he doesn't know his own strength, though. That's what the problem is. Yeah, because he's a he's, dummy. He's dumb. He's too dumb to know his own strength. And so he doesn't know how to carry his own weight around. And so then George, who takes him in like a pet, Tells him one day to make him happy. He says, there's going to be pink rabbits and there's going to be blue rabbits. And Lenny thinks it's true because he's just stupid. And so his stupid self believes in pink rabbits and blue rabbits. And he (laughs) goes, George, tell me about the rabbits. And Lenny and goes, you tell me about the rabbit. And he's <laughs> like, there's brain ones and blue ones and purple ones. Yeah. And so that's exactly what a Lenny thinks. And that's what a Lenny thinks. He a thinks Lenny there's thinks. green and purple and blue yeah. and freaking and yellow. And then he'll even force feed his rabbits. rabbit chemicals to change its <laughs> fur blue. Yeah. And it will be like, see, there's such thing as blue. And then he'll breed them and make these little... Mutant genetic freak rabbits, and then he'll be like, See, I told you there's red and blue rabbits. And it's like, Dude, no, we're not talking about that. And then there's other idiots who are like, Yo, man, there is such thing as blue rabbits and pink rabbits. And the point is, is that there's not. And a Lenny believes, and there never will be, that things that aren't true are true because he has no sense of reality. Right. The fairy tales, the laws of gravity, exist. He doesn't believe in the laws of physics. Yeah. He doesn't believe in the laws of your state and mm-hmm. city. Yep. He he, he wants to remake all the believes. laws for himself. Yeah, whatever he believes is the law. Yeah, but it's he not true. Is the law. It's not true. Whatever you dreamed last night is reality. Yeah. And that's not the world we live in. The world yeah. we live in, he's go. There's no traffic. And mostly, mm-hmm. and affectionately, Crash right into a car. They're obsessed with clinging on to the false version of things. Instead of reality, even, yeah. yeah, considering the thoughtfulness that it takes to think about what really happened, yeah, yeah. So they don't take up what take is the a time. Lenny? What is a Lenny? Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. What is a Lenny? Well, in the most part, it's a person you don't want to hang around with, a person you might want to distance yourself from, but at the same time, if you know a Lenny yourself and you feel like going out to help him, if you know then go help him. Yeah, you better go talk to him right now and go help him right now. Or her. Yes, there is female Lenny. A Lenny can actually come in the female form as well. Girls yes. can be Lenny's. There is girl Lenny's. There's plenty of them. And, you know, uh, 
there's a bunch of girls who hate men because they think all men are Lennies. Yep, they do. It's true. It's because all they dated in their life was Lennies. Oh. And so all they've ever known because their all whole Lennies life do was is Lennies. Watch dirty movies and play video games. That's it. Do you wanna do you wanna date that? Who wants to, <laughs> people raise their hands out there. How many ladies? Who wants to date a guy who just watches dirty movies and plays video games? Cusses mm-hmm. like a sailor, picks his nose and butt and sniffs it. <laughs> Ew. Everybody, That's it's Monday morning. We're, we're trying to get lighthearted on this subject. Oh, it's oh, a Monday morning yeah. crap. We know it makes us all mad that Lenny's exist. Yeah. But and there's so, people too. So with that, we're going to go into something else. We're going to tell you guys what are the benefits of doing push-ups daily. Push-ups. What do is you the do your push-ups? And how do they benefit you and your life? And we're not saying you got to do 100 a day. You don't have to do 500 a day. You only have to do 50 a day. If you can get up to 50 a day in the day and the night. That's really good. Let me tell you, you will be smooth kissing all the Mac ladies. Mm -hmm. You will be macking so hard that Jeff Bezos will pay to stop. You're going to have to, like, yeah. You're going to have to have, you're going to have to hire another person just to help you get rid of all these women. You're going to be like, Bezos, God dang, I got to get rid of them. Yeah, Jeff Bezos will be like, hey, yo, I'm paying for you to accompany me to help me pick up on chicks because that's how I roll, baby. Yeah, exactly. And so at least it, it's not only a benefit for your body and to get fit, but it's actually for your health. Too. Yeah. It benefits your health. It makes your arms bigger. It makes your arms bigger, and legs bigger. Even in chest and abs, legs, everything. Ch- everything. Everything. Full it's body a full workout. body workout. It's using every muscle as you push up and down on your arms. It's actually using everything at once. And God made that. God made push-ups. Mm-hmm. It's like, lie yeah. on the floor and push away from And there. to do push-ups, even, you, there's no excuse to say, you know, I can't afford a gym. I can't get yeah. membership. Even a homeless guy, he could wake up and do five do five outside on the block, just yeah. wherever, on the curb. Before do warm, five. though, uh, if you do got one of those scrawny little wimpy flat chests, that push-ups will give you freaking hard titty muscles. The titty muscles that you don't need right now. Your chest will pop out like freaking Popeye. And you'll be able to wrestle a bear. Yep. Because push-ups are just like, they're, they're for the best word to use is they're universal. They are completely universal. If you go to the moon and do push-ups, if you go to Mars and do push-ups, if you're on Earth and you're doing push-ups, it is such a pleasure great thing. for your body. It's such a great thing for your arms. The ladies love yeah, arms. they love them. And you're just they lying on the floor and you turn your stomach and you push yourself up 30 times. Just Start 30 with times. five. Start with five. Yeah, work start up with 30. the minimum. Yeah. Just start with the minimum, Wake the up basics. Do five. Wake up to five one little push ups. You're that out of shape. And if you're, yeah, and if you're out yeah. of shape completely, then just do one. Just do one little push up, and one will change your life. Yeah. One can start turning into two one and start, your life. start progressing slowly. And the, the way you could progress is by just doing it. And it's not hard to do one. One in the morning, Anybody one at could night. do one. If you could do one in the morning, one at night, then you'll be, yeah. You'll be going to the you'll right You'll be getting direction. ready, yeah. That's... Your brain will be triggered differently. Because you feel push-ups on your brain, right? Yeah. Isn't that what makes you not want to do push-ups? Because your, your brain is like, nah. Your brain gets lazy. Lazy it's brain. It's painful. Yeah. Yeah. Anything, yeah. yeah. But that's that. Then that's when you get glued to the couch and glued to uh, too much sitting and too much. Yeah. Know. And then the I ladies mean, don't like you and you smell. and Yeah, that's you bad. Know, you yeah. don't want to be smelly and chubby, you know? Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just stupid. It doesn't make sense. Bad combination. Bad combination. And if you're a lady and you're smelling and chubby, man, good luck getting a decent guy. Yeah, ladies need to, well, they don't have to do push. They could go for a quick, brief walk, you know, like a five-minute walk. That's all it takes. Start off with five minutes for the ladies. That's equivalent equivalent to a man doing one push-up, maybe a three-minute walk. Yeah. Every day. Instead of sitting down, just go walk somewhere. Do Just walk wherever. Walk ladies to your yard. Dance in their to, kitchen. Yeah, you could dance. Dance in your Play backyard, your favorite song your and dance. Play your favorite song, dance to it, have a ball, have a good Kids time. If you don't got a backyard, then go in the front yard. You could even dance anywhere. Dancing dance is free. Push-ups are free. See, we're giving you tips that are free. These are cost no dollars. Don't cost while. anything. All you have to do is do it. And I if you do it, do it. You'll, you'll, your mind will be in a better state also. 
I'm not saying that you guys are sad or messed up, but I'm just saying your mind will be. Give me give a chance. Give push-ups a chance. That's all we're saying. Just give push-ups a chance. Get down on all fours. Do yourself some push-ups. How many push-ups do you do, audience? We want you to really answer this question inside your mind while you're sitting watching this show. Yeah. How many push-ups How many can you do, do, you do, do you want to do? In a day, and it's been a long time, don't worry. If it's been years, don't worry. That's you can okay. get down and do one today. Just do one. You get down, a you'll do five push-up. the next day. You get down, and you'll do 30 within a week because you're a man. A man strive to survive. Yeah, and we got to do it. But the universe, the universe is the survival. Yep. And so get down. Universe. And Start. press yourself off the earth because you are strong. Yep. And you need it in your body. Luckily, you need it in we your have gravitational being. pull, and with the gravitational pull, we're not going to blow up or or explode. And we got to take advantage of this gravitational pull that we're stuck to this ground. We are lucky for that. You know, you got to be thankful for that. People aren't even grateful that we're stuck to this beautiful earth that we live on. And so I know we got this body so that was beautiful. given to us. Our we got to like just this. yeah, you got to just take care of it. It's your one and only. We only, one, only. we only get one. We only get one. It's a beautiful case, you know, like a woman has a baby and like a flower has a seed, you know? Yeah. And it grows up. And if up. you don't water the flower, what happens? It dies. And if you, and if you don't so water your, your water, body, everybody. Yeah, you got to water your body and you got to you yeah. gotta keep pushing, you know, just like the seeds got to push yeah. to grow. We got to push up and our your bodies Bible because remember, to grow. The word of God is water. Mentally, physically, and emotionally. It's true. So water yourself daily. Mm-hmm. Just think about the plant. When you water the plant daily, yeah, and it succeeds and it thrives and it's strong. Yep, and it's bent straight up. But think about when you stop giving it water and it droops. What happened? It just droops and the flowers start crumbling and that's it. It goes. But, but just see, water, you even know, in fall, water your soul. They call water fall. Your bodies. This is the season of fall where things actually do fall down, no matter how much you water them. But guess what? If you stay with them, these seeds will not die. Yeah. They just fall asleep. They're going to sleep, just oh. like bears hibernate. Yeah, fall true. is when plants go to sleep, fall and asleep. they come back in the spring. So yeah, they just, they're just taking like a little. That's their nap. Yeah, it's, it's their nap time. They got to go to sleep, and they will wake up and blossom again in the spring. All mammals, and that's why we got to take soil. care of it. But without water, they won't. None of this is possible. None water, of the above. Yeah. So your brain needs water, water. Your brain, water your bodies. Do push-ups and do push-ups because you drink water, it goes into your stomach. Keep them sprouting. And you, you want to do push-ups to get that water from your gut into your brain. Exactly. And that's what it is. Because that's exactly what it is. Your brain is um, needs water. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It really does. It really does. Because we're 90% water. Yeah. And then the rest is just, just think blood, about the organ, ground. guts, heart. The frickin- soil and the ground. And then, you know, that's our brain. Yeah. So you put water and you plant and, a seed. And the brain will grow. And the brain will grow. So you got to water your brains, feed your brains, and also read and learn something new every day. If you learn something new every day, yeah. then just any little in a, minor thing. And in case your brain is dry and old, then just plow it. Just get it all fresh again. Yeah. Put some good seed into it. See, you could even watch, even even by watching like TV or internet, you could learn yeah. something new every day. But read. You got to read because that's the push-ups of your brain is reading. Yeah, that's giving your TV brain push-ups. is the, the push-ups for your eyes. Radio is the push-ups for your ears, yeah. but reading is the push-ups for your brain. Reading is, yeah, and push-ups exactly. are the push-ups to get ladies. That is where you Regular get Regular push-ups. You want, you want big arms, you want a big chest, flat abs, and strong legs. You want to drink a bunch of beer and still look good? Yeah, push-ups. You got to do push-ups. Every day. Push-ups 25 in counts. the morning, 25 at night. How many push-ups do you do, Lenny's? In fact, Lenny's. This is what we were talking about. Lenny. Lenny. We're going to be coming back after these commercial breaks. And we're going to tell but you more first, let's about tell what them Lenny is. About how much they need to do push-ups even more because the Lenny's don't do anything. Let's throw out a challenge. Don't. Right here, right, right now. Let's do the it. The October push-up challenge. Here we go. We want you to work up to 25, 25 push-ups in the morning. In the morning. And 25, 25 at, night at night. Before... The week, week of Halloween. Of Halloween. The so week of. So you got three and a half, almost four full weeks to do this. Pretty much four full weeks to work up to 25 in the morning. You could do that today. And you could do it. And you could do it. It can be done. And if you could do it today, then just do it the week of Halloween. 
Yep. Not every day, maybe, but definitely. And by Halloween, you'll be even doing up. more than that. If you start right now, start today, right. tonight, this morning, as you're listening to this, you could start right now. Get out of your car in the middle of traffic where everything's backed up. Do 25. They'll be honking at you. Yeah, they'll but, be honking at you, but they won't <laughs> but run you, you over. It's America. <laughs> they don't want to get sued. But you still do your 25. Get back in your car. Hey, you did it. Everybody, we got a quick commercial break. Come on. All right, so we'll be right back. But we want to tell you. Halloween is going to end. November's so coming up quickly. And the Thanksgiving Christmas. episodes of Runner and Gunner Show are coming. The Christmas episodes of Runner and Gunner Show are coming. And the New Year's episodes of Runner and Gunner Show. Oh, man. The holidays this are Christmas, here. Christmas, we are narrating your favorite Christmas movies in Runner and Gunner. Oh, yeah. We're taking those emails and we're going to break it down to all of our listeners' favorite movies. So these are just listeners only. It's opinion, but we are gonna take them in, hey guys, and we are oh, gonna. Man, oh hell no! Hey guys, no no no! What's up? It's me, Uncle Lenny. I'll be we here for a lot more. About Lenny's. Oh I'll my be God. here the Thanksgiving episode and the Christmas Security. episode. Rest assured. Get him out of here. Get him out. Security, get come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, good job, everybody! Hey, security, thank you guys. Running and gonna show the right. run low and gun tell them out. Right, if you like to know, here, so we're cool now. Woo! Everybody, so have a good cheers. Cheers! Hip hip cheers! Hip hip cheers! Hip hip cheers! And don't forget more history hip, lessons hip, to come cheers. in the Runner and Gunner show. But we will get to you guys about everything we just said and more after, after these, these commercial, commercial breaks. breaks. Yo guys, I just bought myself a brand new Lamborghini. Lambos, we go faster than you can speak. Yeah, okay, I only paid three million dollars for it, but guess what, it's a Lambo! Sonic is slow compared to how much I go in my Lambo. Hey yo, you think I can go ride your Lambo with you? Rambo loves Lambos. Of course you can, dude, hop right in, whoa! Lambos, faster than Sonic. Quicker killings than Rambo. Whoa, man, step on it. Lambo. Lambo again. Get yours for only $5 million. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Do you want to know what a Lenny is for reals? For reals, for reals. What is a Lenny? Lenny, 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 It doesn't matter what a Lenny is, Jabroni, because we know that we are not Lennies, and we are teaching are not Lennies. We are teaching the world, teaching you the universe. As a matter of fact, fix yourself. the 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 universe must not be filled with Lennies because Lennies are going to fulfill the universe if you allow them or if you allow yourself to become one. Do you want that to happen? As long as you don't allow yourself to become a Lenny, then you will you will be in a positive light. You will see yourself in a better place. You have to fight the Lenny. You will not get a bad woman who will beat your ass. Or throw (laughs) frozen beers at you while you sleep. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's been done. Yeah. Not to me, but or it's been tell done. you that she wants your family to die. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Or say that she sees your dead grandfather. Yep, right there. He's sitting right next to you. <laughs> if that happens, then something's wrong. <laughs> then you better run for the hills if that happens, man. These are all things that B.J. Herman has done. B.J. Herman. It is confirmed. Oh, man. Confirmation. What is a Lenny? A Lenny is lying to your best friends yes. and your family, saying that you left this woman who was a female Lenny and then still being with that person. Oh. And destroying your life when when you have awesome people around you trying to help you. So if you have awesome people around you trying to help you, I suggest you listen closely to those people because those people aren't trying to ruin your life. They're just trying to help you escape bad situations because we've all been in bad situations, but... I mean, if you go through a bad situation longer than 
a few months. A really bad situation. Years. I'm talking, if you go, years? 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 No, there's years? no excuse for years. There's no bad excuse situation. for years. Months, You're okay, person, maybe that's, human that's being. horrible. Months is horrible. Weeks is bad enough. Like, even a couple weeks is bad. You're like, all right. I, you, you, even a couple hours is yeah, like, hold on, know. wait. Yeah, you got to evaluate your situation. Like, everybody, Lenny's don't take the time, sit down, evaluate the situation, and figure a solution to the negativity of their situation. They don't. They just feed into the negativity through their social media accounts, through the internet. It's not even things that are actually happening in their yeah. life uh -huh. that yes. Lenny's are attracted to. They're attracted to the negative instant universe. social interactivity graphics. Yeah. Lights in their eyes and graphics. Yeah. Because yeah. that's essentially all a phone is, is lights in your eyes and graphics. It is. It is. It is. It's just a... It is. It's just an entertainment device. But if you, you see, but you there's can use a way to use the entertainment device like, for like the positive. Show, dude. Exactly, you could like use this device books. to entertain yourself in a positive light. We're not saying Buying it's books negative from Amazon. Yes, you could download and buy books from Amazon. You could listen to the Runner Gunner Show, or you could. You there's so much good stuff. You could listen to Spotify. So we're YouTube, saying music, Pandora, podcasts, Apple. everything you could hear audible is. Positive your ears exercise exactly everything that and you some of it could get your watch. ears and your brain at the same time exercise just like we do we give the ears and the brain yes so I mean it, it's relax soothing to the ears and relaxing to the brain and it's actually feeding the brain brain food videos exercise the eyes exactly but more so baseball and like you know football or sports or catching a ball or going uh, outside yes. and eye coordination. And then reading, though, exercises the brain. It does. And there's nothing else besides maybe conversation. Wow. Yep. Interactivity with other human beings. Yes. And actual experience in real time that exercise your brain. In that light, yes. And exactly. so even push-ups, as we were just saying. That's more body exercise really, than mine. It yeah, is mental, though. That's how you get ladies. It, it's if you're kind a man, of a mental exercise. If you're a woman, you know what you got to do. But not a man. It ain't that hard. Yeah. Get the right man, you know, you know what you got to do also. You got to freaking study. You got to, because you already look good. So you got to study. You got to know what a jerk is. And you got to be able to kick his ass in case things go bad. You got to be able to. And he doesn't mean kick wrestle, his ass physically. Kill. It means mentally, too. Both. The, the ladies. For the ladies, Take they have to mentally. Class. Yeah, yes, yes. In case he's All that ladies. bad. In case he's that bad of be a. But it shouldn't come down to her being with that bad of a person because she, she should know right from the very first few, maybe even minutes to hours, you meet the person, you could tell what kind of person this person is. Yeah. Usually. You better. But unless Judge a, book a lot of people cover. do hide their, you know, everybody hides their inner demons or whatever, their self yeah, doubts. You just said and it. It's true. They all hide it at first. But once you see a little glimpse of it and it's so horrifying that you never want to see it again, run for the hills. Because there is Lenny's and they're running Rampart, take a self defense class. Indeed. Yeah. Because they Lenny's, they don't believe in honor. They don't believe in, you know, uh, Loyalty. Hurting, hurting another person. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just life. They're all going to die anyways. That's what Lenny thinks. Yeah. So you need to stay, you know, Awaken against the woke culture, the whole culture of it, the whole culture. But we are the because it is a culture, culture. It is a culture conflict because they are, we are outnumbered. But at the same time, we can help them. We're not here to hate on them. We don't hate them at all. We're just here to change what they are becoming. You know what they are leaning towards. Like the new generation, it looks like they're going in the right direction also. Yeah. The new generations, the little ones, they're going the in the right ones. direction. They, they see what's going on. They're but, using the internet for good. Yes, they are. But mm -hmm. um, the Lennies who were born like right at the cusp right when, of yeah. the internet. Yeah, when it was becoming big, they're using it for... Dirty movies. Uh-huh. Instead of knowledge. Games. Instead of knowledge. Instead of knowledge. It's okay once in a while, whatever. And but they like it. They want to spend all their day. whole life watching dirty movies and play That's video games. That's not good. Games. Yeah, it's not good. Like, I could be on Mars. I don't need a woman. I'm just going to watch dirty movies. And I don't yeah. need anything else. I'm just going to play video games. I don't care games. what's going on in the world. I'm just going to freaking TMW and play video games all day. Dang. Nah. Which is not the life to lead. This is why the Runner Gunner Show was developed. Because we're trying to get people who are in that situation to turn back from that old stupid way. Yeah, and we're gonna hear the change, Jim, for the better. 
only to improve. We don't want to change you. We just want to improve the situation that you guys are in. We so we're not trying you. to change you. We're just trying to help improve whatever situation what you're you in. And you're if you human. don't feel like you're in a kind of negative or bad situation, listen up anyways because we might have some little advice or options that you might just intake and use in a positive light. That's what we're saying. So that's what we're trying to do here at the we're, Running and Show. We're trying to say that don't be a Lenny. Like, a Lenny is a bad guy. Yeah. You know, the Penguin, the Joker, yes. Scarecrow, mm-hmm. Thanos. Pumpkin Man. Lenny's. They all got pumped pumpkin in high school. Pumpkin. Oh, they yeah, got, they did. Their butts kicked in high school. They all got beat up. Even their dad started to beat them up because they're just such Lenny's. No. Uh-huh. They're bad guys. You don't want to be them. You don't want to be them. What you want to be... Is a hero, a cool strong guy. gentleman, a strong surface gentleman yeah. who secretly does great, nice, kind things. Yeah. Who's awesome underneath, who in mysterious secret, in his darkest secrets, he does nice things for people. You yeah, want to be a top hat wearing, smooth shouldered, great posture, lady loving, ladies love him kind of gentleman. All the time. You want to be able to drink beers. You want to be able to eat cheeseburgers. And you want to be able to be healthy and live life too. This, a Lenny doesn't eat meat. No, he does not. The vast majority of Lennies are vegan Vegan men. men. Who are unfit for war. Why? Who are unfit for warrianism. Yep. Who are unfit for marriage. They can or to protect. They didn't even want to protect their women. They want the women to protect them. It's easy and to so reproduce. that's not cool. You know, you, you got to be the protector of the women. But to be the protector, mm-hmm. to be the warrior, to be the guard, and to, to be, be the sitch. The man. So the main thing we're trying to be to teach you guys, too, is to be the man. Well, you, most of you already know to be the man. We know that. But for the ones that do not, yeah, we just want you to be that as well. And mostly you are. You just do whatever you want to do. And that's always good. Don't conform, though. Don't make fun of your family, and then when real stuff happens, yeah. you can't handle it. You can't handle you know, it. How about you be and great so you, to your family? You change and the subject. Real so stuff happens. if they can't handle it, they change the subject. That's another thing yeah. Lenny's love to do is anytime some kind of conflicting yeah. or any kind of kind of negative confrontation happens, they will change the subject instantly. Instantly, even if it's not even negative, even if it's something simple. They like, love to fight battles that aren't yeah, theirs. That yep. And, and it's, it's it could be so simple, like, you know, say you ate waffles for breakfast. They'll say, yeah, all you ate was sausage for breakfast. If you ate a sausage, you're like, no, I ate waffles. No, you ate sausage. Yeah, yeah. You know, they'll just tell you. Or, or the you other thing sausage. they do is they lie. So you'd be like, if they ate waffles and eggs for breakfast, they'll be like, oh, I just ate a couple sausages. It's like, yeah. dude, we just watched you we eat seen eggs you. and waffles. Yeah, exactly. And you'd be like, oh, 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 you were there? I didn't know. It's like, what is the reason to lie about that? And that's what Eleni does is they lie. And as we know, it's a lie language. It's the language they live. Economically and it's against stop. the law. Economically, lying is against the laws of physics, the laws of gravity. Yes. You can't you can't tell a ball, hey dude, don't listen to gravity. Just just fly. fly. And then throw a ball up in the air and then it grab it behind gravity's back. <laughs> you know, yeah. gravity turns around and goes, What? And then, it, <laughs> what were you doing? And it floats. You were trying to float my balls up in the air. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's not it's how it works. Exists so that's that how way. lying doesn't work. So when you lie, it's like throwing a ball up in the air and expecting it not to come down. And it will. So Eventually, everybody, what is just a like Lenny? the saying? What goes up? A Lenny is something down. you don't want to be. And to show you that you don't want to be this, we're going to give you another five to ten words. And you All right. think, think about the Here opposite. Here we go. Different words. We're going to play the game again. So, Gunner says a word, I say a word, and you think the opposite of what the word means. And, and that that's... is Eleni. Okay, ready? Courageous. Outspoken. Considerate. Determined. Unforgettable. Truth teller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. So uh, hold on, I, hold on. Mean, I got more. Precious. 
<laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Handsome. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. We'll stop right there. All right. Let's get it. All, all right, right, everybody. So... You kind of get the gist. A lady is something you don't want to be. That's exactly what you what want. What is a lady? We're trying to teach you guys the opposite of what, or tell, not teach. We're just telling you guys of what a lady is and what you should not be. But it's your choice. You know, if you still want to go out there and be this Lenny person, you can. But if you're listening up at this point of our show, we already know that you guys are not Lennies. You guys are freaking proud of who you are and the awesomest persons that can be on this planet that are living, walking, doing your thing on this earth. Yes, everybody. What is a Lenny? That is a great question. We just described it for you. In about an hour and a half of video footage that you just listened to right now. Yeah. We want you to know Tell that a Lenny is a real thing. Yeah. Don't consider yourself a millennial, anybody. You're not a millennial. That's an insult that old people put like on young put people on as you a guys. hexing. Yep. They're hexing your you're ass. You're not a Lenny. Listen, you're a gentleman. You're a kind, thoughtful, nice gentleman. And cool. So act like it. Person. Do your push-ups, throw it down throw it like down. you're the man. Yeah. Because you are a step away from this ignorance that's Way on the away. social media, yeah. that's on the Way internet, away. that's on the news. Yes, indeed. Heck and yeah. Step into this reality that is your neighbors, that is your friend. What's up, Runner? Yeah, what's up? Yeah. You're a good See, friend, Runner. You're a good friend too, Gunner. Thanks, and Runner. And that's why I thank you. Runner and that's why and Gun Tabo. We come together to put this show together and we put the show together for you all and we want you guys to know that we're changing the world you know Lenny's are going to no longer exist pretty soon I mean their time is ticking their time is ticking and they know eventually when they get old they're gonna be like why did I waste my life being a Lenny so that's why we're trying to warn you now before you get at that old age and before you realize that we're warning you now it's time for a different pace of life. And yeah. if you do that, you a, we're a just trying to bring happiness to the world. That's what we're doing. A Lenny is bad. Being a Lenny is bad. It is. It it's really is. It's a millennial. Is. A, a millennial is a Lenny. That's how the word is derived. Yes, from it is. From a millennial. From a Lenny to a Lenny. <sighs> Being a millennial is bad. It's a bad thing. That means that you're on your computer all day long. Constantly. You constantly. only do things through your computer. Press, press, press. Tick, tick, tick. And you're, and you're showing it, and you're believing in it. And since what you believe in so strong is becoming reality, that runner and gunner reality is separating from your reality. Yes, it is. But in the wrong direction, you're going into the middle of the ocean, and we're still on land. We're still on land. We yeah. are here with the people. You guys are just all alone. And you, and you're your like, own... because I feel, I know I could swim and breathe water. Yeah, and then but... you go into the water and you drown. Mm-hmm. And runner and gunner, <laughs> like you're gonna See drown. What happened? See what happened? You can't go on there on a raft made of wooden sticks in the crazy ocean with hurricanes and monsoons in the ocean. You're gonna get sucked in, and there's all kinds of beings out there that will take you out. And lucky for you, the last we're here on we the land. Socked some of the greatest of you and brought them back to land. Yep. And woke them up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Grab a brush with a little makeup. Yeah. Has got better way to shake up. Shake up. Why'd you leave the keys up on the table? Here you go for create another table. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Exactly. It's well, the end of the show. Yeah, we're getting down to we're it. Runner so and Gunner we gotta, and I we gotta let you guys go. sipped up. And I agree with the Runner and Gunner show. Me too. When we Me say too. that it's way better to be a man who's a gentleman. Yes. Who's smooth, who waits for the ladies. Open the door for the ladies. He waits for the ladies to come to him. Take care of the women. And then afterwards, he shows them that he is material worth waiting for himself. That is correct. And with that, we got to let you guys go. And we're going to tell you, have a beautiful Monday, beautiful October Monday. the 10th. And have a great day. But before Drive we go. safe. Oh, whoa. Before we go. We have to this part of the show that everybody the likes. Favorite the best. part of everybody. The it's favorite the... part of everybody's show. <laughs> that we love to call the, the... Two, two Minute, minute Rundown. Yeah. yeah, I will 
pop to that. Is going Can I get a pop on? in the world? Oh, pop goes the weasel. Pops and popping, and in baseball, the MLB playoffs have begun. And the wild card games are going well, but we don't care about that. We care about the Dodgers playing tomorrow. Oh my goodness, the Dodgers. And let's also talk about Pujols. Getting what 702, 702 career home runs? Oh my gosh, that's great! That's amazing. We lost count. Also, Aaron Judge hit 62 home runs this season. Hasn't been accomplished by a New York Yankee since Roger Maris in 1961. What a feat to have! 62. The American League record. Football. In All right, football. everybody. Football's going down too. The Raiders. But we're waiting for that baseball right. World Series coming up. Everybody, well, football's still at the beginning, but the playoffs are near, that's why. But football's doing very well. But what about those Oakland, I mean, Las Vegas Raiders? And what about a guy named Devontae Adams, their big superstar? Devontae Adams, I met him. I worked on a commercial with him. We did a Tide commercial. We drank beers afterwards. He's a fun guy. He's got a Latin chick for a girlfriend. It's all good, everybody. It's Halloween. Halloween. Have fun. You know, don't eat maggot-filled candy. Have some good chocolates. Have a good clean time. Don't do too many drugs. Don't get too wild. It's Halloween 2022. 2022. I know you want to just go outside and be crocodile wild, but you got to tone it in because we're about to have a great, great time and winter's coming up. And for the two minute rundown, oh, that was a little pop and pop. And let's give them the final last cheers for this little two minute rundown we got God going bless on. You. We want you to have a wonderful day, a wonderful month, a wonderful year, a wonderful life. Yes. And be safe wonderful, out there. Wonderful. Remember Halloween, you know, go scare somebody and make them happy at the same time. Don't do a crazy scary. Just do a little scary jump scare and then have a little laugh and a little crack afterwards. Not cocaine. I'm talking about a beer. Yeah, give them a Frankensteiner off the top ropes. That's right. Don't have too many beers. Don't drink the maggot from the tequila bottle. Yeah, don't do that. You You don't want to hallucinate tonight. Be safe. Be safe. Cheers. Love one another. Dress like a cat. It is a good time, everybody. We want to see you out there. Yeah, get out there. We want to see those big smiles. We yeah. Wanna see, we want to see everything. Everything that you've got, you've got to put it in memory. If you could have a great Monday. And you great have Monday, a, great, a life. great life. Create memories. You know, make babies, make love, have love, spread love, and share love. Have a happy Monday, everybody. Solid. Remember that our house sponsor for any injuries, postponements, or collateral that may occur during our post segment of our entirety of the show. You are now or have been listening to. We would like to add any involvement with similar subjects in the show are completely coincidental and may or may not be facts. We would also like to thank you, Lennox.